Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 The Princes of Darkness Modern. So why aren't we back in our old save game? Well, the developer of the mod got in touch with me via email and said to me that basically there was a new version of the mod available upon GitHub, so I've swapped over to that version. Um, I tried out the old save game that we had, but there were some or two issues, some or two issues, <laughs> with uh, the old save game and the new version of the mod. So, what I've done is I've decided let's start a new series, let's use the ruler designer, because I feel almost, almost sinful, unwashed and filthy. To not be using the ruler designer when we play CK2. So we're going to be doing that. Obviously you guys have already voted on a name. So that's going to kill two birds with one stone. Now I know vaguely how to play it as well. I feel like I feel like we're in a good position. To actually start this into a proper series. Give it a good go this time. Rather than my sort of bumbling before. Like I don't get vampire. So that being said. Let's do it. You know what shot me? When we were playing the, um, the other mod. What we were playing for a while. Um, it was the first episode of this one, actually, wasn't it? The Princess of Darkness mod. When I picked Troll, uh, as a joke, uh, wherever the fuck Troll is. Oh, I like the man with no mouth. That seems pretty good. I don't know. We've, we picked a man with no mouth, or, or Blue Man Group, or something like that. Uh, there it is. We picked this man, and everyone's saying, hey, you're not playing as a vampire, you're playing as a troll. This is just ethnicity. This has no impact on the game whatsoever. So, it, all of the gameplay features come from whatever you pick on this screen. Everything else is irrelevant. So if I want to play as, I could play as a troll, but still be a vampire, for example, or graphically a troll, because it's saved as a different, um, saved as a different line of code in the, uh, in the save game there. So, don't worry about it. We can still play as Blue Man Group, whilst also being a powerful, powerful vampire. So we are going to play as Blue Man Group, obviously, because it is, uh, it is this channel. I think you know what to expe expect at this stage. I need to take off his headgear so we can actually see, what is that haircut? What is that haircut? I like it, but by God, um... I'm going to ask my barber if he can do that for me, because that looks incredible. Beard. Um, obviously, we want the biggest, most powerful vampiric beard we've got. There we go. When I look at this man, I think vampire, honestly. Eyes. Um, we want some that are stern. Oh, nice. That'll do it. Nose. Again, a nice stern vampire nose, but not that it's going to get in the way to prevent us biting people in their neck. Um, so we need, like, a, a fairly, yeah, that's a fairly reserved nose, I think. As for the mouth, uh, doesn't really matter, because it's covered up by beard. Chin. Um... I kind of like the big cheeks. So we're going to go with the big cheeks. And again, cheeks and cheeks and chin are irrelevant. Uh, neck is irrelevant because we can't friggin' see it. Eye color. We can go for blue, red, or green. Uh, the classic colors in your PC case. Uh, we'll go for red colored eyes because those look the most different. That is the classic La Sombra flag there. Uh, the house of um, De Vruz's default flag. Obviously, you don't want that. Uh, we're going to go for a new clan. No longer with House Terrorfish, because House Terrorfish was not one of the best names I've ever come up with, I will admit that. Oh, actually, we'll have to wait till we get into game to customise it fully, um, unless there are any particularly funny ones on this list. Now, we're going to have to wait till we get into game so we can go back to one of the default CK2 ones. Culture, Castilian. I guess this doesn't really matter too much. We could play as, like, a troll culture, but I wonder if that would cancel out the um, the vampiric aspect of things. Religion, La Sombra. Let's not upset the boat too much, I'm happy to go with that. What do we want our character to be, though? As there was a lot of plotting, I did some experimentation with the plotting, and they seem very, very powerful, good for, you know, for vassalization, making friends, that type of thing. I feel like we need to go for something like Elusive Shadow. Especially as, also, you know, we're a vampire, blur, and we like hiding in the shadows, so that seems like it would kill two birds with one stone. Vampire Ruler Designer trait, this is a fix for immortality for vampires. I guess we take that one then, eh? So let's grab that one. The whole reason that is, is because if you add the immortality trait to a custom character, it doesn't always work. So that is a pretty good plan. Okay, so what generation do we want to be? Um, I'm going to assume the, the youngest we can be there. So seventh generation, we'll play as that one. Um, we can pick our particular type of vampire. Uh, so we are La Sombran. So we want to take La Sombra Vampire. Um, Blood Potency 1, obviously we've got to take that one. Are we an Elder? We could take an Elder. Uh, that would give us age minus 5 in exchange for some pretty good stuff. So we'll, be, we'll start as an Elder. We'll crank our age up a little bit there as well. Um... Okay, we've got lots of different skills that it's going to take me ages to read through. And I will actually read through them. But for now, we probably just want to read through. Strikingly unusual um, about their appearance or behavior. Fertility minus 15% irrelevant, I think. Uh, the attraction mini minus 50, though, will make all female vassals and people hate us. So we won't do that one. Warform, created by vicissitude discipline. So these probably we shouldn't take. These are for actual transformations, things like that. Um, Homid, Glabro. Uh, Nearman or Wolfman form. Okay, so again, these we probably shouldn't take. These look like werewolf-related stuff, so we won't take those either. Um, yeah, these are definitely all werewolf-related stuff, aren't they? Okay, sure. We'll scroll past these. So these are fairy-related traits, so we don't need those. Um, these are probably another race traits, which we definitely don't want there. Um, 
Okay, so here we are. Default CK2. I know this one. Stress depressed lunatic, great pox. I don't think he's a necessary thing as our age is 19. Normally I take one or two, you know, even like wounded or stressed or something, just to um, give ourselves a little extra age, but it's obviously not relevant in this scenario. Attractive? Naturally. Genius? Naturally. Strong? <laughs> Do you want to become too OP? Um, honestly, why not? Yeah, let's get, let's, let's just, let's, we want to have fun with it, right? So let's just give ourselves a, a decent fighting chance. Duelist, um, I do want to leave some room for expansion. I obviously don't want to take all the, all the ambition traits or all the, um, way of life traits or hobby traits or anything like that, because it won't give us anything to do in game. But I do want to tr take some traits that would give us that additional loyalty or piety as it would be in the base game so that we can actually declare the jihads quicker. So... Monty Piety plus 0 0.1, or plus 1, I should say, uh, for 20. Wow. So it's very powerful in this one because it gives you those extra points. Okay, so I imagine Zealous would also cost you, yep, 30 years. Um, I'm going to go with Zealous just because it fits my character. We are a powerful, old, La Sombran vampire. Um, literally old. I don't like that. I hope he doesn't actually look old. We won't take too many of the actual um, traits that define us here. Cannibal? Does that matter in a vampire world? Maybe if you're actually eating and consuming the flesh of other vampires, but I'm not really sure whether that would be such a big problem. Right, so now let me read through the powers, and we'll actually pick some powers for our man here. Then obviously you guys get to name him. I'll pick the dynasty name, because uh, you guys definitely can't be trusted with that one. To keep it a little bit more fair, I've gone for Majesty, Resilience, and Vigor there. Just three very basic level one traits. That's equivalent to about 600 prestige, right? So not a big deal. I think that'll do. Honestly, we picked the good congenital traits. What more could we need at this point? We are an elder. I don't know if we'll lose that because technically we're obviously not above the age of a thousand. So that might be age-related content, um, which I'll remove if we actually have put that up a little bit. Okay, here's the important stuff. What was voted on for the number one winner? Okay, then. So, I was not expecting this. We didn't actually have a hideously offensive or a hideously inappropriate name for once. I said, let's go for a name. Let's go for something that, that is is... <laughs> not gonna get me demonetized and the top comment was uh with with a ridiculous amount of upvotes if you want a truly terrifying name name him gavel kind here we are cardinal gavel kind and the dynasty name is obvious i've said it so much i've said it during the jerry king streams i've said it during mythos i've said it during this we're gonna name him dynasty blue man group because we are going to be a group of blue men or at least led by one man uh, it's kind of a bit a little miss a little bit misleading, I suppose. I suppose blue man led group might be more appropriate. Gavel kind, blue man group. Welcome aboard. And obviously we'll have to wait until we're actually in game to fix his flag there. Hopefully this doesn't completely break because I'm looking forward to playing a custom character. All right then. Uh, rules. Have I, have I already done the rules? Oh, Jesus. Uh, these look kind of right, actually. Uh, yeah, that seems good. I like the one that says Gehenna, Black Death, Deadly. That sounds fun. <laughs> we'll just go for that one. Why not, eh? That sounds uh, completely balancing. Cancel out our genius trait that we took for free. All right. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. You are playing as a La Sombran vampire. This is what I'm going to guess it's going to play. A Castilian La Sombran uh, duke, king. I don't know what rank we are, to be honest. There we are. Welcome to Princess of Darkness. I actually already know this, my friend. Welcome to CK2. You are playing as a Castilian La Sombra cardinal. Nice. Okay, do we still have that clan on Astorius? We do, because the character we replace has the claim on Astorius there. Now, playing as Clan of Sombra, we're supposed to have particular traits already. Now, we've got to let the game tick for some time, just so it can do whatever it needs to do. Fix whatever vampires are missing their traits, sort out mortals, that type of thing. Which I imagine is what it's doing now, seeing as the 2nd of January took about four years. Right. We lost our Axe of uh, Pacunas. The, uh, I believe that is the uh, Suomenesco deity, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, we probably didn't want that either way. Blood Potency 2. Right, that's cool. So it, it's good to know that this is working well then in that case. All right, who is our heir? This man here, uh, who we should probably kill off and try and reherit. Oh, shit. His heir is actually someone outside the ram. We don't have a legal ram inheritance. My god. Um, well, that's the first thing we need to fix. And legitimacy level 3. Oh, god, that's going to take a while, isn't it? Legitimacy level 3. Okay, then. We know what we need to focus on. Supernatural society all in to start off with to keep our realm together and careful and stable. All right. Well, let's get our council set up. We need some advisors. Alvaro and Proctor Sylvester. Welcome. Oh, Sylvester was obviously the guy we replaced there. Could we eat him? Um, may I, my friend? Friend for exile? Nope. I would like to kidnap him and eat him. Vile infused trinket. Oh, vit, vit, vite. Vit, vite. <clears throat> infused trinket. Right. 
Now, I have turned on the artifact search mod, and because we did that before the game started, it's actually going to work properly now. So we can actually search for artifacts, rare artifacts, all of that type of thing from the character finder. So if we go ahead and type in rare artifact, these are all the people with some manner of rare artifacts. So the Lance of Longinus, which is uh, what the Roman soldier poked Christ with to make sure that he was actually dead there. Um, that seems a pretty powerful artifact. What do we need? Is a member of the Via Carolae Society. Oh, shit. He can actually use that, that lance then. But instead, he's using a state-launching bow, which also seems pretty powerful against uh, against vampires there. Who else have we got? We've got this man here, who has the branch of the Keshmar Cypress. Doesn't seem appropriate in this game. Uh, Giant's Blood. Wow. Don't know what that does, but that seems pretty cool. Uh, should we sort by rank? Because that might give us uh, an indication here. The All High Worcester of Midgard. Odin? That is actually Odin. By the way, that's Odin's son. Uh, and Enola's grandson? Granddaughter? Huh. Odin? Odin's a vampire. Naturally. Fourth generation vampire here. Odin himself. Odin one eye. Uh, he actually does have one eye too. Gould horse. Ah, uh, huh. Sleipnir is now undead. This is cool. Find out a lot about this mod now. Uh, Tooth of Buddha. Again, not really relevant. I want to find a good first artifact to go for. So, Bones of St. Peter. If we could use that, that'd be very powerful. Uh, so we need to be either... Via uh, Kaylee or Order of the Bitter Ashes. Now, I assume we're not part of the society because we haven't actually joined it yet. Via Kaylee, we can actually join. Do you want to gather up some Christian artifacts? What do you think? Oh, there's the Via Humanitatis, which is uh, diplomacy plus four. We could join the Cult of Mithras, Intrigue. Uh, via Regalis, Stewardship. So these are all just various ones that give us uh, bits and bobs. The Derelict Lytic. Wow, there's so much. What the fuck is that? My god, horrifying. Uh, Diplomacy plus three, though, that's not bad. Twilight Order obviously gives Martian plus to combat, so that'd be pretty good as well if we're going to be hunting other vampires. But you know what? Let's go and collect those Christian artifacts, because the Burns of St. Peter and the Lance of Longinus. The Lance of Longinus doesn't always spawn in, so that would be a very, very powerful weapon to have. And you know what? Holy Spear seems pretty good for fighting vampires, in my opinion. So you know what? We're going to flip over to uh, this one here, the Via Kaylee. I do want to join you. Then we'll go and hunt that Pope down and steal his bones, which will give us build time and build cost. Very, very powerful upgrades. Where is he? Probably in Rome, I assume. He is in Rome. Um, what the fuck is that on the map? Um, it's a great big coin. Huh. Maybe I should revert back the unit mod. Because I've reinstalled the, uh, uh, or I have installed the updated version of the unit mod as well. Maybe those coins are supposed to represent something, eh? Maybe they're supposed to show good tax. I don't really know. Anyway, Pope, uh, I'm going to, if you don't mind, grab your stuff. Can I take a concubine of the Pope? No. Understandable. Now, we also want that Spear of Longinus, which we found as well, because that would be an incredibly powerful one. Now, that actually belongs to a vampire. So, if we go ahead and find... Oh, God. Rare artifact. Um, how did I have it arranged? That's completely... My God, I don't know how I had it arranged. Probably by opinion, I assume. Um, who was the man with this, with this Spear? Oh, there's actually not... Oh, God, there's shit tons of the rare artifacts. All right, let me find him again. So I think, first things first, I know how good the building system is now, and thanks to uh, Thanatos, my number one uh, War of Princes advisor, definitely gets a slot on the council there, who's told me that the cities, when upgraded, are very, very good in terms of the tax returns. So we'll go for the business focus for a while to actually build up our finances there a little bit. Um, what can we do? We can compose a book. That seems like a pretty good start. Let's write about uh, learning diplomacy, intrigue, or martial damage. It's very annoying that we don't have the stewardship focus, but we only have nine stewardships, so understandable. Uh, let's go for martial. See if we get some troop living bonuses from that, that, which is possible, by the way. Let's go and set up the council next. All right, uh, court jester. Let's just fuck. <clears throat> let's pretend that never happened. All right, let's get everybody on our side to make our plots. Obviously, our internal plots a lot stronger. Obviously, we're trying to kidnap uh, this dude here and uh, eat him alive, diablerize him, if you will, so that we can gain his blood potency and and power and maybe his artifact as well, because he did have something. And seeing if, as we're his liege, and he's probably got no family, if he dies. We'll take that from him. Now, who should we have as another commander? Let's take a look. Uh, obviously, Sylvester with his 46 marshal. Wow. Huh. Might actually be worth keeping around in that case. Or we could eat him. Counterpoint brain. We could just eat that man. Okay, so I've marked the two people. Obviously, we've got the Pope there with the Burns of St. Peter. And we have Ahmed uh, Ibn Zayat Anath, who is all the way over in uh, Jerusalem, in fact. Now, we can't get boats there, unfortunately, so we are just going to have to rely. Is he even landed? He has landed. Uh, where's his capital, though? Where's his capital, though, friend? Tripoli. That's on the coast. That's what I like to see. Holy shit. And he hasn't got it equipped either. So if we go and raid that down very briefly. No. 13 boats? Oh, that's win-win. 
Navara, my good friend. Um, I would like to take those from you, but obviously we can't because we are different houses now, technically. We're Blue Man Group, and here's obviously uh, Devruis, the clan we were playing as. Before I forget, let's do the important stuff. Um, we need to find a default CK2 uh, flag style, if there is any. Looks like they've all been replaced. Oh, no. God damn, what am I going to do now? I don't know how to make flags. Oh, my God. It looks like they might... Ah, hang on. Hacker voice. I'm in. All right. Um, what colors have we got? Oh, God. It's either white, black, or red. Okay. Um, or a slightly... Oh, no. The same shade of yellow. Shit. Okay. Go for uh, red and... Dark red and yellow look. Oh, there's no blue, though. How are we supposed to be blue mangrove? Okay, we might have to go for a vampiric color or a vampiric style. Um, we just need a blue. Yeah, there is a blue. Awesome. Okay, let's change these symbols. Have you got a picture of a man? Because that would be exactly what we're after here. Um, no picture of a man. Okay. That might be the worst color scheme I've ever come up for a flag with. That is hurting my eyes to look at it. But there we go. He is clearly a man. A man sat down with his six legs. Throwing two juggling balls in the air in frustration because after all these years of practice, he still can't juggle. House Blue Man Group, we've done it. Let's go and raid the Pope. Let's go and get the spear. Let's actually start off with a very, very powerful artifact behind us. We've got a decent amount of trips to start off with as well. I like this new version of the mod. Oh my god, it runs smooth. Look at that. Wow. Greatest mod, 2018. Let's get our fleets risen up. 14 boats as well means we carry 140 gold back. You know, I feel like upgrading was not a bad plan. All right, uh, Latium. Nope, not interested. Triple A, if you don't mind. Okay, this is going to take us a while to get there. Now, do do anybody on the way, sometimes they think it'd be like it is, but it actually do. Do they have anything that is worth stealing? They've got Fable and they've got the State Launching Bow. State Launching Bow seems like it'd be a powerful weapon against vampires. My God, this game runs fast now. Good work, devs. Okay, where is Triple A? There it is. They're already under siege. Oh, shit. Can you get out? Uh, sorry, a triple, triple, triple lane Litanian revolt. That's not what I'm here for. Can we fight them? We can fight them, and in fact, we'll immediately die because they're apparently stronger than us because they had more morale. What a fool! 45% uh, chance of getting the trait gregarious. Yes, please. We failed. Um, do we want to gain messenger stations for 6.6 gold? I feel like that's a fair trade. Okay, this time we're going to land here and actually do this a bit more sensibly. Wow, they're a little bit more fortified this time, eh? Huh. Oh, let's not worry about that too much. Uh, we get Lope as well. Now, what we want to do is uh, stop this person revolt, if possible, so that we can actually go and take out... God damn it. Good news, friends. This is before we actually landed in Tripoli and died horribly, so uh, <clears throat> I'm going to chalk that one up as a win. Okay, head off. <laughs> Just so I was... First mod 2018 immediately crashes. You know what? Again, that's understandable. I was running some sub mods as well, but I've turned off Weir Rabbits and the... Um... The unit mod as well, because clearly that one was not working. Oh, God, it's still there. Oh, my God, it's got bigger. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, huh. Again, let's... Ig oh, God, there's a China one as well? Let's ignore it. Okay, moving on. Uh, back to the war then. We know this time we should land probably over here instead of Beirut, rather than actually going straight for that revolt. 45% uh, chance of getting the trait ambitious for free? Don't mind if I do. Well, that's better than gaining stress. Thanks, game. Second chance. Valuable. Um, burn the apostate. Who's this man? My vassal. Seems like an apostate. Uh, throw him in the dungeon so I may diabli abli overrise him. Yes, I would like to eat him dead. Um, managed to escape my attack. We've both suffered serious injuries. Really? Uh, that's what you think, my friend. Boom. Oh, raises his flag and rebellion. Oh, shit. My troops are over the other side of the planet. Heal severe injury. Uh, feel the power of the blood. And we have bloodthirst. Well, that's fine. Uh, how many how many men has he got, though, realistically? What is he? A baron? Uh, with 28 men. Okay. Huh. It's a little bit annoying that I'm now going to have to bring my raiders all the way back home to go and deal with that. Maybe we could just, just grab Tripoli before anything else? The Mongols are truly fearsome. Who ever they happen to be. Um, what are our troops counts looking like right now, then? Um... Light infantry, some cavalry. I'm going to actually focus on cavalry because that's going to be our end game goal anyway. Seeing as apparently La Sombra get cavalry. So that's something we definitely want to deal with. Bamboozled again. Do you know the definition of insanity? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's happening again. Okay, um, please get me through December. That's all I ask. This is crashing on January 1st every single time. And it's done it again. I can tell. Even before it's crashed, just because of the way the music cuts out. Oh my god. 
This video was supposed to go up at 6 o'clock, and it's now half past 7. So, apologies for this one being late, but hopefully you can see what the issue is. So, I've reverted back to the Steam version. Um, I've reinstalled the mod, I've remade the character, and now we are in a fresh new game. Progress will be made, or I will die trying, apparently. I feel like I'm fucking dying trying, anyway. So, we're back as Blue Man Group, Cavalkind of Castile. What have I done? Well, first things first, I released her into uh, independence so I could declare war on her in 10 years' time and actually take the friggin' province back. Um, as in, take the, take the city and actually take it for myself because I figured that was the easiest way to do it because unfortunately her heir is also this dude below me. Um, I could kill off House de Ruiz. That's probably not a bad plan, is it, eh? Uh, what's... How can we do that? Uh, we could gain favor with them. Will that help? Probably not. Uh, why don't we try and expand pretty early on then? So we are back to how we were sort of playing it before with our eight men and no boats, which means any sort of uh, raiding or anything like that is gone at this stage. Now, what about the Lance of Longnius? Does he still have that one? The same dude still has it. So we'll mark him with special interest. We'll try and grab that at some point. You know what? Let's just unmark it. I'm sure he'll keep it around. Okay. What do we want to do? We've got eight troops. Um, we've got no tech points. We have 89 gold. Okay. Let's start building up first things first. What do we want to go for? Anything that's really going to give us uh, tax. We're going to for the tax. We're going to go for that La Sombra Recognized Court as well, because that's very good. Actually, this is all so cheap. I might as well just get the lot, eh? I think we can actually afford it too, which is pretty nice. And we can't afford the Simple Haven. That's basically the um, the castle level itself. So I think to actually build up the much higher buildings, you need to have a, a larger haven, essentially. Um, sure, less traveling means less work being done. And there we go. We have a fully upgraded one I pause it. Capital. Nice. You are my best friend. We became best friends with our largest vassal. That seems pretty good. Off to a nice start. Um, oh, who is this dude? Right, we need to get that illegal revocation. Or, or the illegal ram inheritance, I should say. anti revocation too would help out a lot. Um, we're struggling for Cassus Belli against other people of our sort of a religious group, unfortunately. Against other high clans. Now, we want to try and eat the previous king of Castile, don't we, Sylvester? There he is. Um, to my good friend Sylvester, I would like to kidnap you. We've got 30% chance of doing it, so we might as well give it a go, seeing as I imagine he has, uh, what is it, higher blood potency? Now, this is blood potency 5, we have blood potency of 1, which is really, really bad. Um, again, I, I, I've never quite understood what we're going to do about the 7th the generation, because surely, as we play on more and more, our vampires are going to get weaker and weaker, and there's nothing really we can do about it. Um... I suppose we'll wait and see. Blue Man Group. I need to fix the flag again. You know what? We're leaving the flag as it is. I'll do that in between episodes because we've already wasted so much time trying to get things working that it's probably not worth the effort. Who is this? My courtier wants to marry the uh, Baron of Burgundy. Sure, why not, Mr. Baron King? Why don't we expand? Uh, he's got 13 troops. We have 9 troops. Well, I guess that's why we don't expand then in hindsight. I suppose we're going to have to wait for our levy size to reinforce in that case. Uh, 150 gold, really. That's quite a lot. How long does that last? 10 years. And we're making 2 gold per month. Right. Let's do some quick maths. That's 24 gold. That's 250 gold every 10 years. Or 240 gold every 10 years. So no. We're losing 90 gold doing it this method. Oh, it's only minus 50% castle tax though. Okay, so we'll knock that down to half. So assume that's 12 gold per year. That's 120 gold per 10 years. In theory, that's a good deal then. Alright, fuck it. I'll take it. It's just basically the gold up front, which is fine. Um, we became an aspiring trader, apparently. Stewardship plus one for that good deal. I guess the game agrees with me. Thanks, game. Plus, it means we can expand this early on, which is quite nice. Do we actually hold any other provinces? No, we've, we've actually only got that one. Um, that's pretty terrible. Okay, then. Uh, again, that's partially the reason why I let her go, so that we can actually go and declare war on her. But we do have to wait until 1240 for that, so that's going to take some time. Where can we expand to, if anywhere at all? With our ten men... I'm not optimistic that we can go anywhere at this point. No, we're just going to have to upgrade, aren't we? Okay, sure. Uh, why don't we try and revoke a city? And in fact, we could do that very easily by doing that. Nice. Kill her dead. Um, Diablerize them. I feel like we can probably manage this. 19 personal combat. She's 150 years old. She's 8th generation. Blood potency 3. We have 11 personal combat. We're 122 years old. Oh, God. Um, invoke celerity, I feel like. It's probably not a bad plan. Let's... Diabolize them and die instantly. Excellent. We succeeded. Um nom nom. Um nom 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 nom. Awesome. Our bloodthirst decreased. I didn't realize vampires did that to you. We've got ourselves a city too. That's great. Okay. Bribed whore. Story of my life. Let's, I guess, build up everything here and, and really get all the bonuses out of it. Nice. We might as well go right in to try and pay for our upgrades a little bit here, seeing as uh, we're not making much money from it right now. Uh, sure, of course, I'll come carousing. Why not try and make it? 
good friends with some of our other vassals there. Let's merge you guys, mark them as raiders. We will lead the troops. King Gavelkind with his 23 marshal there. Excellent. What do we make Sylvester a commander then whilst we still have him kicking around? Where's he gone? Sylvester? My, my friend? Well, let's not worry about it. All right, let's go and siege down somewhere pretty close that we will get a decent amount of gold from. Um, well, I mean, we could take out their capital, seeing as we actually do have a land border with it there. We could also hit uh, Astorius as well. Does she have any artifacts worth stealing? No, I don't think any of them do, do they? Well, we might as well just go for the gold in that case, and that does share a border, so we can actually raid this one. But we could raid along the coast. Oh, the T-Pose werewolves. How I've missed you. They are back. Thank God for that. I was worried them for a second. Let's get this party started. They've only got five men as well, so our sieges, I think, are going to be pretty successful. We've got ourselves Bermudo and Oveco. I'll get you next time. It's a real shame we didn't get, like, a Game Master or something. Who is this lady? Expose her immediately? Yeah, I agree. Get her out of here. You've heard of an interesting mortal in your domain. Word has passed around that a few vampires are keeping tabs on them. Um, she's not bad, is she? Impaler? Attractive? Obviously, mortal as well. Embrace them, ghoul them. Um, why don't we just ghoul them in that case? Execute them, ignore them. Uh, we'll just ghoul them for now. Bloodthirst. I mean, we've got plenty of mortals kicking around, so we can absolutely deal with that. And we can actually send her to go and deal with whatever the hell we were planning. Um, gonna try and grab this man here. Excellent. We've maneuvered our way into embracing Fernando Martins, a uh, canon character there. Great person. Saint, monk, theologian. He seems really, really good. 30 diplomacy. Holy shit. Welcome aboard. Uh, we should probably make him our new uh, Dictus. Every series. I can't escape from the dicks. You can go and fabricate claims on stories because I would like to actually grab at these provinces. It seems like having a permanent guy... Um, are you my religion? You are. La Sombra. Um, having a permanent guy there trying to grab up the Dutch level titles isn't a bad plan. Plus, the very small amount of gold we've got uh, as a very small monthly income will mean that the claims will be fairly cheap as well. Now, I'm going to assume there's nowhere to get technology from at this point. No, there is not. Right, you go back to scheming. All right, take them out. We will now play as... Fernando Martins of Castile. He's not very good, but he's all right. He's got some pretty all-round decent stats. Ooh, righteous imprisonment. I like that one. Okay, uh, let's righteously imprison her. Who is going to raise a flag in rebellion? Where is she? This one? How many men has she got? Ten. Oh, shit. Careful. I mean, to be fair, we've only got 32 because we were just smashed by Astorius after I tried to raid them. I mean, I was being a little bit cheeky, I admit, but we did get some gold out of it, so it's not all bad. Okay. Um, let's just go and assault it down, I suppose. Yeah, actually, I sorted down because they've only got two defenders, apparently. Is that really all they can muster? It seems a bit lazy. All right, let's get you and you and assault it down. Oh, no, we lost a vampire. Careful. There we go. All right, 100% war score. Thank you. I'll be taking that from you. Now, if we kill her, who inherits? This dude. It's going to make him more powerful. Um, hmm. If we diabolize them, she's got blood potency 7. That's not a bad plan. She's also 7th generation. She's got 23 personal command. Let's fucking try it. Let's go for it. Eat her. Curses. We maimed her. She maimed us. Well, that's okay. You know what? She was way more powerful than us, so that's fine. We need to eat someone. Oh, we've only got bloodthirst once. We don't have to worry about it for a while. All right. You know what? Fair enough. That could have been a worse outcome. Why don't we... Um, we need to pass revocation, don't we, pretty immediately, so I can actually start grabbing these tiles off of traitorous vassals somewhat. I'm back to raiding. Again, it's keeping our economy quite powerful now. Look, we've got 28 gold tax from Burgos there, which is not great, but not terrible either. Now, we've got a few more things we can upgrade. We can go for... Oh, this one gives plus 2 tax and plus 3 light infantry. So we go and influence some journeymen. Now, it's 75 gold per upgrade. And, of course, the next level blank drunk gives us plus 2 tax as well. So that's very, very good in terms of value. Our son, or our bribed prince vampire uh, descendant there... What do we want to do? How strong rule the weak? Um, we'll go for this one, seeing as... Ah, uh, well, uh, fuck it. What did he get? He got cruel. <laughs> that was worth it. Good work, team. Uh, what was that? 1.3 loyalty, 1.9 gold there. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. The loyalty itself is actually doing us a lot of favors, because that's going to make it so that we can obviously invade a lot quicker. To climb more holy walls, that type of thing. And you know what? The gold isn't bad either. Okay. How long till we can upgrade that? A couple more sieges on that province there. I mean, I'll just keep going around Spain until uh, until we've got this place decently upgraded, I think. Right, there we go. A fresh start. A good start. I feel like we've got a decent city immediately. And that's going to help out a lot. It's going to give us that tax. It's going to give us that technology as well. Real shame that the new version didn't work quite as smoothly as I was hoping for. Because it did look like there was some nice polish to that one. But, uh, you know, that's part of business. And, we, you know, we've learned the mod. And now we've started our own fresh, important character. So that's what's important. Thank you for watching. 
Big shout out to the top tier patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Mandez, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Woodman for your support. Thank you very much. And of course, everybody else who's also backed on those patron tiers as well. Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Montoniak, Necrophil and Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble Esquit, Lutch, Lazar, Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Parator, Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor, Chief, Palpatine. I'm the Lizard Queen, Luan and Thomas. You're under breeze. Euphrates, Don Connie 207, Jordan Campbell, Asro, and Sidini. Thank you all for your support. Much appreciated. I hope this is a fresh start to the series that is welcome, and I hope you like it, and I hope this one will last us quite a while. And, uh, you know, I feel like we've got ourselves a legitimate good character now. <laughs>